Factor by grouping. F, B, G, factor by grouping. You're gonna see the instructions to factor by grouping very commonly when you see a four term polynomial. So if you see four terms, one, two, three, four, you might expect factor by grouping. And just like you see in the title, factor by grouping, we're gonna group this. We're gonna group this polynomial, and it makes sense to put the first two in a group and then to put the second two in a group. Okay, it wouldn't make any sense to group, you know, the first and the last or anything like that. So, the first goes in a group. I like to use the colors red and blue. I like to think of Spider-Man, red, and blue. Now look at, the, look at the two red, the two terms grouped in red. All I have to do now is take out the greatest common factor between those two. And the greatest common factor between these two is going to be x squared. Let's try that again x squared. Take out the x squared, and what will I be left with? In the first term, all I will be left with is just an x plus, and then in the second term, after I take out the x squared, a 2. All right, and of course, if you distributed that, you would get what, was, what you started with. Now, very important, I need a different color for this because that's how important it is. Very important, you have to bring down this plus, if it was a plus or a minus. Bring down the plus or the minus. Okay. Now, bring down the plus. Look at the second two. Look at my blue group. In my blue group, what can I take out of the blue group? What's the greatest common factor? Well, I can divide out a 5 out of both of them. When I divide out the 5, what am I left with? I'm left with x plus 10 divided by 5 is 2. Now, this is not a coincidence that x plus 2 is the same as this x plus 2. Okay, they are both the same. Now, when I look at the whole thing, when I look at the whole thing now, what's the greatest common factor between the first part and the second part? It's the x plus 2. And when I take that x plus 2 out, What am I left with? Well, when I take this one out, I'm left with x squared. And when I take this one out, I'm left with plus 5. So that's what I'm left with, x squared plus 5. All right, we're going to look at some more examples of that with the red and the blue.